a YouTube, Sergeant Ryan 98 here, just here to give you a complete run over of my Perception Pescador 12 foot angler kayak. I got this at Academy last year for $399, it was on the sale. We picked two of them up, I got Dad's is in the trailer, it's orange and yellow and red mix but uh just wanting to go ahead and review it again since i haven't reviewed it since uh ju what june may june last year so i want to do it again it's just now starting to get to be paddling season it's been roughly 75 degrees average it's april right now but just starting to get into fishing again. Kayak fished a few times uh, in my granddad's Tarpon 100, which I love using that boat too. I say these two boats tie, especially since Tarpon 100 is on a 10 foot, but that's a good one. That's, that's another story. I can go over that some other time. But that's me and my granddad pretty much share that one. I use it more than he does, actually. <laughs> But, yeah, let's start up front. Nothing real fancy up here, just same thing. Got my dry storage, got my life jacket, life vest in there. Got the, there's the hole. Give me a little bit of trouble, trouble. There we go. Hatch is doing pretty good. It only leaked one time. I've seen where people do it, uh, say it's not, it leaks a little bit and it's not good. That's only if it's like sideways. You see, it ain't lined up perfectly in the middle. If you line it up with that uh, mount area right there, it usually keeps water out nicely. Going up here, I really don't have anything rigged right here up front. Just my foot pegs I'm thinking about getting a fish finder I don't know if I'm going to wait till I get another kayak or if I'm going to just go ahead and mount one right here I'm not quite sure on that yet but uh, don't have a fish finder anyway get the dry storage right here that's just the a cable to lock them up but we'll start with the first thing for the stuff is my anchor trolley Got it hooked up with a D-ring. Got the paracord running down through here. Here's what I got. Got this. I got it actually split up into two sections. See it splits right there and then goes all the way back to the back. It's pretty much the same setup right there, but what I like about using the front one is I can have it next to me or I can slide it all the way up. As you can see. See, I got it, the thing hooked up in there. But what I like about this setup the most is with my paddle keeper, I can pull it over like that and strap it in. And it doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't get in the way, doesn't go anywhere. But if I'm not using it, I just keep it down here on the side. So got that, got my rod leash whenever I got my fishing poles in the flush mounts got one on that side Let's see here's a new addition I put in an anchor cleat which I put in myself it was pretty good got it for three bucks at Walmart but put some marine goop in it and put the screws through and then they weren't waterproof screws so I had to put that goop in it this cut water out quite nice here and here's where it gets pretty interesting to see that's where the, I hooked the anchor to but let me see where I got it okay sorry about this YouTube it's on back there here we are here's what I have my line spooled up on it's just a two pound dumbbell. 
nothing real fancy don't look too good but you know it's gonna be in the inside of the boat so who cares put that right there put it on that side got an umbrella in there just in case things went hairy now we'll get to the milk crate and the camera my new camera stand because y'all ain't never seen it like this but got all my boxes my spinner baits my just assorted stuff some utility supplies stuff like that pliers knives hooks and whatever crank baits and I got my soft plastic and top water I got my soft plastic bag. That's just a temporary bag. I'm getting a tackle bag for them. But I got my new drive box. Got a anchor. Got my fillet knife. I got my scale. Got two flush. I mean the two PVC rod holders and flush mounts. Now I got my crappie crappie jigs. Got bug spray. Got my sunscreen in there. And then I got a PVC pipe and angled it. Let's see if you can see that. Angled it going up. And then slid a one and a I don't even know what size this pipe was. One and a half inch, yeah. One and a half inch PVC in that two inch PVC, and uh, I bolted it all the way through. It's removable, so if I need to store it or transport it, it'll be just fine for transport. Just loosen that up and then pull that through. But yeah, that ain't. It's not going anywhere. See, I got. Right here, I kind of stole an idea from ND Yak Angler, North Dakota Yak Angler, and I cut notches in my milk crate. See right there, for the bungees to go in. See, it just snaps right in, and then go on her way. So to keep it from moving too much which I mean it doesn't move that much but when it's got that heavier camera pole on the back it tends to wiggle a little bit so what I did is I just run a bungee through I hooked this I installed this pad eye right behind the dry storage which really does is I think it was a good idea to put right there that's a good spot not just to keep it down I can use it for anything just about but yeah I did pretty much the same approach running bungee cord around through there and out hook it up same thing on this side see get the back anchor trolley again I got it hooked up to the back right there on the handle anyway so we got through the milk crate now we'll get to the camera stand so what I did is I run a bolt through an actual metal tripod camera stand I took the legs off and there was an aluminum metal piece like it was about that thick and it would fit perfect in there so I drilled a hole all the way through the PVC and that and then run one of these big bolts through so got that it's real adjustable here's the, the good part about this setup I've got it bolt. I drilled a hole in my old dry box that was starting to get worn out, and I bolted it to the camera stand, which is removable. Let's see if we can get that. It takes two hands, really, but it's removable off the top right there. So then, what I did is I got my old otter box the front part of it because I got an orange front part right now you can't even see it I don't know why I'm even trying <laughs> what I do is I can let me get this otter box off real quick what I can do 
is take the iPhone off the back. Imagine the iPhone is in this. I super glued it with uh, just regular super glue to the inside of this dry box. And uh, so what I can do is snap it right in. See? Imagine it camera right there. But yeah, it's not going anywhere and it points right over me. And I can close that back up. Got the piece of styrofoam in there just to have it in there really. So if the iPhone falls back in there, which it, it's not, it would uh, be padded from that bolt. So I wouldn't crack the screen, but see I got that. guys so I got the orange back. okay so yeah that was about it just a lot of things have changed with it but still have the same opinion about it I love this boat real comfortable tracks well really stable great price at Academy go pick one up